I want to have a look at uh, Mr. Peters um, at the airport. Uh, the, uh, the media comes across as desperate, and he comes across as an old curmudgeon. You know, but this is only ninety seconds. Let's have a look at the walk. Both, both things walk are true. From uh, Mr. Peters, somewhat neutering the media again. How are you feeling? How are you today? Are you playing games with David Seymour? Was that question? Hey, would you rather be? Okay. Have you spoken to Mr. Seymour? This is cringe. It's like fucking Beyonce's in town. How are you feeling, Mr. Are you worried that the act party is going to hold up negotiations with you? In terms of negotiations, Mr. Peters, the pension age. Is that a bottom line for you, the pension age? How long will negotiations take? How swept up is your negotiations with power at the moment? Would you like me to carry your suitcase? Nice I'm just being oh nice. Genuinely. <laughs> Anything nice to say about David Seymour? That was a question. David Seymour said there's still a bit of bad seen? blood between you. Is, is, that, is that how you feel as well? Have you spoken to David Seymour yet? There's been reports of the ACT Party putting together a draft uh, agreement already. Is that premature? Hi, guys. Is it premature how for people to be putting together draft agreements when they haven't for? spoken to you? <laughs> Are you hoping for all three parties to get in the room together soon? Wow. <laughs> Just wow. We'll take it down, we'll take the volume down, because there's no embarrassing, please give us a wave at the end like there was last time. But, you know, I mean, credit where credit's due, uh, Winston, Winston's got a, a cause that he's going for, and he has the upper hand over the media right now. One wonders, does he also have upper hand over the negotiations as well? So... Winston's been doing this for a long time and the media love talking to him because when he does want to talk he's going to give them a sound bite and he's, he's going fun. to give them something salacious that'll 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 get clicks it'll it'll go on the news awesome but he knows he knows what he's doing in this case what possible thing will benefit him for saying anything at that moment yeah as Simon saying by all, saying all nothing, the power he's is, is there for him. Yeah. He's like Seymour's saying everything that he possibly fucking can at the moment. And and yet that was that was embarrassing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, and, and like, it's I a power it's a power move. For everyone. Yeah. I wanna absolutely. I wanna show you now there was reports that he spoke at Port Waikato and he spoke for 40 minutes. It was meandering. I didn't watch the whole thing. I couldn't bring myself to. I know sometimes Fano, I say, I'll watch so you don't have to, but I couldn't even bring myself to do that. But just just to show the Trumpian vibe, as I said, he's gone full, full Winston Trump with the hair and all. Uh, this is the bit that the media has been talking about, uh, how he's been calling out the media. Just, just think, close your eyes and think Trump and think about these words that come out of his mouth. These people aren't motivated in the way they say they are. Because if you saw that night, and I was sitting there thinking, like I'm sitting around with a whole lot of glump people. We've just These people are the media, by the way, just so you're clear. Just one. <laughs> it's true. We're all sitting there analyzing and thinking, gee, this is not good. And we've just won. We knew on election night that we held all the cards, but we had to stand around and listen to all these political experts like Jack Tame and every other oh. <laughs> left wing shill paid for by the taxpayer, go on and on and on and on and still going on. And then have the front of you say, would you like to come onto my show? <laughs> I tell you what, Mr. Peters, uh, Jack Tame ate you alive when you were on his show. So That's why he's going after him. I imagine you won't go back on a show and you'll try and sell it under some kind of bravado that, that you know, oh, you know, I'm not wasting my time with him. But he, he detonated a bomb above you when you went on his show uh you were the foolish looking shill if we can use that word in that conversation oh and by the way they're on there banging away about uh the government if it has formed will have nobody from pacifica on it and i'm sitting there thinking listen jack tan you moron jesus no i'm sorry we're pacifica 
You will say half half Irish and half Scots. <laughs> you know, I mean, what wow. what part of that doesn't sound like doesn't sound like uh, you know the the lamestream media, the they're against me, the it's 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 from the song play, and I'll say it again, Jack Tame cut your lunch and ate it in front of you, Mr. Peters, when you were last on his show. 100%. Yeah, I mean, we, we saw all of those Jack Tame interviews in the run-up to the election, and I have to say, he lashed everyone to the bone. Yeah. Like, to, to say that he was left-wing, I, I watched the, the the interview with um, with Hipkins. He didn't spare Hipkins at all. Yep. Um, and, yeah, just this, this whole media thing look this shit that the media does drives me betty we we criticize it a lot um but it's certainly not that they're too left wing it, it's like they're too genuinely like just not kicking over enough rocks for me to be happy so they absolutely failed us in, in the run-up to this election yeah they're corporate they're like what they put at the top of their agenda is money it's neither left nor right it's finance that's why the thumbnails, that's what that's where the term clickbait comes from. Like they they start their process of driving from finance. And as we've seen with like the uh you know, Today FM and uh I was gonna say the platform, what am I saying? The project. You know, I know mm. that they will probably have some kind of sell about, you know, it was time to wrap up and it was I tell you what, if it was rating it was paying for itself, it wouldn't go anywhere. So yeah. that's why places like RNZ are so important because they don't have that at the top of their agenda uh tvnz is halfway there um i know that you may people may not be aware of this but there's no new zealand near funding for news and tvnz other than a couple of shows so those debates that we watch and i know this because obviously i was talking to tvnz when they once they got us kicked off youtube they don't get funding for those debates and stuff so when we all say um you know we, we're paying for tvnz some parts other parts no and news is not a nz on air funded uh, conversation because nz on air doesn't fund carte blanche they fund projects so therefore hmm. they fund q a because that's a specified project they won't fund one news because that's not so that still has to pay for itself rnz very different rnz all government money you know they don't have to worry about the money being at the top of the list which is why they're so important so very important yeah maybe winston still thinks we're under the old bbc model and he's just angry about people paying licensing fees I actually, would, I, I actually think that's a great idea. I'd happily pay a licensing fee each year for a, for a well, TV what, one. What, that wasn't that one of the free. one of the discussions with the the RNZ merger was was to make public media a bit more self sustaining. But yeah. um, the the other thing I have to say about that that meeting of just absolute vibrant go getters in our community um, is is that he's playing the hits. Yeah. The biggest laugh he got there was was from calling someone a moron. Yeah. But someone in the media. So this is the Trump thing again. You know, when Trump says something about the media, all his followers go, oh, that's what I'm saying. It's from Trump's playbook. Well, I think I just scared the dog by making that noise. She came, she walked out of the room and I made that noise. She walked back, walked back and looking at me like this. It's all right. You're okay.